Well, Dave, hey, let's go. You can eat the chips during the game. I, it's not. Well, welcome back to the North Kitsap Gym for the second half of this Saturday matchup between the number one North Kitsap Vikings and the number three Bremerton Knights. Right now, North has a commanding 48 to 24 lead as we start the third period. Yeah. Got to push the camera on top, Dave. There you go. Yeah, that's 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 an understatement. So Bremerton will use the same starting five: Rube Wilson, D'Angelo Moore, Taylor, Sam Tucker, and Junior Newman. <laughs> well, Tucker's already got three fouls. <laughs> Aiden Olmstead, back to Ornes. Bremerton in a man-to-man -man defense. And we got an offensive foul. That's on Latour. His second personal foul. A lot of dribbling by Bremerton. Oh, and Tucker, Tucker sneaks that one in. Barely got over the front of the rim. That is the second three-pointer. And then, let's see who we got foul here. D'Angelo Moore. His second foul, so we got that one to give. I was concerned that might be on Root Wilson, which would be his third, wouldn't it? So, a foul each for... The Vikings and the Knights. Johnny Olmstead dropping that. 6.58 to go here in the third period. Thank George Edgar for his assistance tonight on the, on the stats. Doesn't make it so lonely with the absence of Kevin Mack and, uh, and um, Dave, Dave Hench, the black and white guy. Say again. 10 of 11 from the line. Oh. Another turnover for Bremerton. Yep. Newman, Newman with an errant pass. <laughs> Ornus gets. So Ornus will get two. Got jabbed in the belly or something. He doubled over after. So that'll be Ruth Wilson's third foul. Oh, makes the first, misses the second. Oh, Moore get a shot blocked. Actually going to get a... So Harry Davies picks up, pick up his third foul. Aiden Olmstead had the clean block, but I think it looked like a foul away from the 
Okay. Yeah, I saw the block. I saw the block, but I didn't see them. And Moore adds another point to his total. Yep. Now, can Bremerton capitalize? That's the key. More little floater, left-handed floater. So, Bremerton did not capitalize. Ruth Wilson with an outlet, quick outlet rebound. Moore going up against Ornis. Moore saying he got his hand, and from my very, it seems that he did, but the officials not, not giving it to him. Wilson looking for an opening. Going in. Kicks to Taylor on the far side. Taylor's. That's Taylor's first. That's Taylor's first basket of the quarter, is it not, George? Second three point of the quarter for Bremerton. Connie now has 15. Well, Ernest must have got called for a walk before he elevated because obviously you cannot get called for a walk when you're in the air. Here comes Bremerton. Quick attack. Moore pulling up for a three. Off the side of the iron. Rebound will go to North. We've got an official's timeout. Not liking something. Oh, oh, water. I thought it was the cleaning gear of the quarter they didn't like. <laughs> Figure he was going over towards the official of the cleaning gear, but um, he just wanted to clear some liquid off the floor. Big O, Ornes, powering up strong. That shows you why you need to spend time in the weight room. That kind of play you only make with, with strength. Wilson, Newman. Newson, Newman turnover. Newman's going to get a foul. And he flat out pushed Davies. Got two officials calling that timeout. Hold on. They're going to converse. Yeah, as I figured, Jeremy would win. Second, I think they did the, the announcer called three on that, did he not? Oh, what? what? Either way, he's got at least two. Roof's going to pick up a foul. Yep. Is that three on him? Okay. Yeah, I thought it was four. Yeah, that's what I thought. And Johnny Olmstead picking up, or Johnny picking up a nice floater there. 4.06 to go. Roop Wilson in serious foul trouble with four fouls, and we're only in the third quarter. Kanye Taylor, short. Jonas picking it up. Up quick to Aiden. Misses it. That's deep. That's a deep swisher. There's no other word for that one. Say again, George. And then he still make another steal. Behind the back pass to Davies. And misses the dunk. Oh, 
Oh, so they're going to give him. Going to give him the foul. The Bremerton interfered. So, oh, offensive interference. Okay. So we got Halverson coming in. For Wilson. That'll put more running the point. High screen by Newman. Driving hard. Blocks. Kanye Taylor. Pick up the rebound. Back it out. Newman thinking about a three. And gets it. So, so who got the timeout? Bremerton. Bremerton with the timeout. So... We'll be back after this commercial break. With the holidays approaching fast, there's so much to do, like getting your house ready for family gatherings. Relax. House Call Cleaning Service is here to help. Five-star rated, licensed and bonded, House Call Cleaning offers services in Kitsap and Mason counties. Whether you're getting ready for the holidays or just don't have the time, call the professionals at House Call Cleaning, 360-552-0525 to schedule your appointment today. House Call Cleaning Services. Relax. We got this. And welcome back to the North Kitsap Gym for the Saturday matchup between the North Kitsap Vikings and the Bremerton Knights. 2.51 in the third quarter. North leading 58-37. to Ornis. To Big O, misses. We're going to get a foul. It's going to be on Newman. If that is on Newman, that's his fourth. Yep, it's on Newman. So that is Newman's fourth, is it not, George? It's third. Oh, it's third. Third. Good, 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 good. I wasn't trying to give him more fouls than he actually had. Ah, Dublé Trace will make an appearance. I've liked how he's developed... Um, in my opinion, to give him as much playing time as they can down the stretch. Takes up, takes up space in the middle. Oh, and he's very, he's athletic. So, so the 242 mark, Frost will come in and Newman will come out. So we got Oliver Christensen, Deshaun Halverson, D'Angelo Moore, Kanye Taylor, and Dublé Trace. Or who was whose birth name is Faison Frost? So I call I call him Dublé Trace because at the Seattle Academy a game um, I had no roster. I knew most of the players, but this big tall guy with curly hair with 33 on his back. So what am I gonna call him? Tall curly hair guy? Nah, that just don't go down. So we so I started calling him Dublé Trace, and you know. Say again. No. Well, yeah, no. During during that senior night, Story Ward 21 came in and, and played that one game. So, uh, Ollie's Ollie's senior night w won't be for another two years. So, 60 to 37. Faison using his big body. I think he's going to, North's going to pick up a foul. Foul on the tour. Yep, on the tour. See, I told you I liked, um, I like Dublé Trace. That's, yep. So, Aiden Olmstead, knowing the Bremerton's inbound playing very well. Kanye, Kanye with the circus alley-oop, and then gets offensive rebounds. Misses that shot, but will get fouled by Aiden Olmstead. So that puts um, four teams fouls for North Kitsap, five for Bremerton, 2.14 to go. Taylor sneaks that free throw over the front of the rim. And gets it back to back free throws. Now I have 17. Now we have 17.13 to go, and I got hiccups. The broadcaster having hiccups is not a good sign. Yes. 
North running a weave on the outside. Ornis inside. Ornis powering up. But as he found earlier in the game, um, it's a little harder to get through Dublé Trace. Um, Dublé Trace weighs, weighs more than him, but Ornis will go to the line. So that's Frost's first foul, if I'm correct. So... So the Vikings are in the bonus now. Next foul, they'll go to the line. So Ornus makes that one, makes both of them. Ornus with 15? Yes. Good. How many guys they got in double figures? The whole, t the whole, everyone on the floor? Three, three in double figures. Uh, Dave is going to get called for a kick. So we got a timeout here. Timeout for Bremerton. We'll be back after this commercial break. Whether you're starting a business or already have one, express yourself with Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop, signage-based company providing services such as vinyl decals, business cards, graphic design, banners, flyers, and more. So whatever your needs are, come visit our professionals at Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop at 605 North Callow in Bremerton. To set up an appointment and to see how Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop can help you, call us at 360-479-9090. Express yourself with Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop. And during the break, uh, George informed me that North Kitsap has out-rebounded Bremerton 30 to 10. Moore, Taylor inside, left-handed scoop. That'll add two more to his point, to his totals. Johnny Olmstead picking up two more. Five for six, that's okay. So on Harry Davis. Well, that's not, if, if Davies goes down, um, Aiden Olmstead's coming in to take a break. Moore with a long three, and hits the bottom of the net. Bremen is shooting a lot better than they did at home, but not good enough to be north right now. So 45 seconds to go. Taylor finds himself an open spot. Nope, not any good. Ollie Christian. Taylor, we got 31 seconds, 20 seconds on the shot clock. More. Nope. Ornest leaking out. Oh, and misses the dunk. So calling second basket interference, partly because um, they're, they're pulling down the net, so pulling down the rim. So 17 to go. Eleven seconds. More. More Jukin to Taylor. Taylor's gonna have to go deep. Deep three pointer at the buzzer. Nope. So that ends the third quarter here in this contest. Bremerton 44. North Kitsap 66. We'll be back after this commercial break. Presenting Got Clutter, LLC. We are a hauling and removal company servicing locally since 1997. We pick up your unwanted trash, chunk, furniture, appliances, mattresses, and debris. We also do rental cleanouts and estate cleanups. We are open six days a week to help with your clutter needs. For more info, visit gotclutterllc.com or call 360-377-7990.
And welcome back to the North Kitsap Gym for the final quarter of the this Saturday matchup between the North Kitsap Vikings and the Bremerton Knights. I want to give my sincere appreciation to George Edgar for helping me with the stats and the color today, and David Kaliga for um, on the camera. He's been doing an excellent job, just as long as he remembers to push the start button on the top camera before the fourth quarter starts. <laughs> now, we, we run a dual setup here. Um, so for highlights, we're going to go back for later. Um, we don't have the scoreboard on the bottom. If you know, as you see, we've been working hard on um, working hard on um, getting the pregame and using some old highlights. So um, it's a learning process, but we're getting there. On the floor for Bremerton, Ollie Christensen, Dublé Trace, Kanye Taylor, Deshaun Halverson, and D'Angelo Moore. Davies deep. Davy scores. Moore's deep, oop. Almost an air ball, but catches the front of the rim. Duble Trace picking up a steal. Taylor on the far side, oop, nope. Ornest throwing it out there, but Taylor picking it up. And was going up for a bank shot, and who's on the floor? That's um, Bowers. So that'll put both teams on their next foul in the bonus. So has, has he missed any free throws? Five for five. Didn't think he'd missed any. So it's, see, so that's tough. I'm used to having every, all the stuff in front of me and looking, so not. <laughs> I can't come to a basketball game without doing stats, so. He's working on the season record for free throw percentage. Um, I think it was five for five I was working on this morning. So with his six for six, that'll give him the record for free throw percentage. And Duble Trace will pick up a foul. We got, we got Junior, Junior Aquino at the scores tables. Who'd they call that on, George? On Duble Trace, yep, yeah, okay. That's his first, is it not? Oh, second. He must have got one in the. Yeah, he did get one in the. Oh, missed, it. missed it. Too many things going on. So, Ollie Christensen will come out. And Aquino will be in. Yeah, but he made the, he made the second one. 72-47. 6.27 to go here in the final period. I see that um, Rupe Wilson got bat in the game. Who did he come in for? How, no, Halverson's in there. Uh, Duble Trace picking up a rebound. He had a career high 10 rebounds the other night. And then Rupe Wilson throwing the ball out of bounds. I don't know if that was an errant pass or just that Junior Newman isn't very tall. Okay, George says an errant pass. So.
Nice read by nice read by Wilson on the far side. So we got Sam Tucker coming in the game. Duble Trace coming out. I thought Frost was doing a good job. Harvison comes out. And who also went in? Um, Tucker went in. Tucker and somebody else. Oh, Newman. Kino wide open. Tries for a reverse. I think Davies just fouled out. Yep. So Davies will take a seat. Minutes, minutes well used. Five, four, four fifty-eight. But Davies will be playing again in a North Kitsap uniform, as he is only a sophomore, six-two sophomore. So Jonas Latour coming back in. Hey, get, hey, get the camera over on the, on the guys rowing. So if you, if you put Kanye, yeah, right there. Want to give you a minute of the student enthusiasm. We got some rowers here for North Kitsap. It's, it's a very unique, <laughs> very unique, but doesn't, doesn't seem to affect Taylor as he drops that one. So we got we to gotta give him credit for originality. That is original, isn't it? Number 21, Tanner Perkins coming in. And Dayton Moore will take the floor. Kanye Taylor coming out. D'Angelo Moore's out. You know, that's unusual for for Junior to, or for Aquino to get this deep in the game and only have one foul. As, as Maya Davis said earlier in the season, he is Bremerton's most aggressive defender. <laughs> Ornis gets that one to barely squeak in. I thought it was going to roll back out again, but... And Wilson will go to the line. Yeah, I really like this broadcaster down here. He's very, very good. Um, so he's clear enough that the um, our audio is, is picking him up. Well, and then you backing him up. That's no, it's important. So I'm. A, I didn't see that, but I'm assuming from the crowd reaction that he did not. That 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 Rube did not make that one. So. But he made that one. So 431 to go, 77 to 50. I do not think the North's going to score the 91 they scored, but Bremerton, that 50, I mean, he only needs nine more points to score their total against the Vikings. Wilson with the rebound. Here he comes. Turner, Tucker. Managed to save it. And then Wilson throws it away. Oh, no, 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 no. They're going to give the ball to Bremerton. Wilson. Yeah, that's, it has to be. <laughs> Johnny Olmstead out of the game, 12 points. Quinn Hager coming in for it. Wilson with a long three. And hits the bottom of the net. Well, that's good. He didn't get in. He did not get in double figures at um, at Bremerton.
And Aiden Olmstead. How many does how many does Aiden have? So he had a double double. Well, no, he's going to be our post game interview tonight. I don't normally interview the opposing team players. Ooh, gets knocked down hard. But Aiden um, has has initial roots in Bremerton. Played at Mountain View two seasons under Coach Jesse Taylor. Got a lot of people fall on the floor down there. So the, so the crowd, the, the crowd erupts in. Must be a rare basket for Tanner Perkins. Usual assist with Kate Orn is at the 8th for the evening. Ruth Wilson coming out of the game. So that'll bring Dubly Trace and Oliver, Christ, Oliver Christian back in the game. So we're going to see who Newman, 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 Newman's sitting down. So on the floor, Junior Kino, Sam Tucker, Dublé Trace, Ollie Christensen, and Dayton Moore. So that foul on Sam Tucker. What is that? His fourth? Yeah, yeah. So, Gray Hager at the line with um, Kate Ornis coming out. Dayton Moore with the rebound. <laughs> that that basket by Jay Ashton down, drowning. Downing. Christian tried to go over the top to Halverson. Halverson wasn't able to handle it. And Downing picks up two more. Maybe I was wrong about North score in 91. 87. Well, 123 to go. North 90, Bremerton 55. Yeah. Yeah, decisive win, but but no mercy rule. Halvers is going in to get his. Dublé Trace, Christensen, Dayton Moore. Dayton will go with that right that left-handed spin, right hand. Dublé Trace working inside hard. Kino, it comes a three. Nope. Dublé Trace gets the offensive rebound, puts it back. He's getting better per game as a sorry. <laughs> Should have come out as a junior. So 40 seconds to go. North one point shy of, their, of what they scored at Bremerton. Bremerton two point shy. So let's see if we can. So basically almost identical game. 33 seconds. <laughs> 23 seconds. So if you um, catch the replay on Bremerton Basketball YouTube page, inbound pass. We'll... Um, won't do a post-game interview like K-Mac does, just to lack of people, but 
We will have an interview from Aiden Olmstead. It will be posted on tomorrow morning up on Facebook. Oh, excuse me, YouTube. Halverson. It's like Bremen is just going to, nope, I thought they are going to run it out, but I think Junior is going to try to one more. Dayton will. Here comes Dublé Trace. Oh, and a nice left-handed. So your final score tonight here at North Kitsap. North Kitsap remains undefeated with a 90-59 to win over the Knights. They will drop to 6-3, but still remain, hold on to the third place. We'll see you Monday night at Olympic High School for the West versus East, Bremerton versus Olympic game. Thanks for joining us. Bye.